Ladies and gentlemen, we are in draft season. Okay? Mm -hmm. We are just eight days away from the NFL draft. The first round kicks off next Thursday, the 27th, right here, youtube.com forward slash the Pat McAfee show for our fourth annual, fourth annual, fourth annual, Bye. fourth annual draft spectacular. It should be a great night. It'll be a blast. We'll see dreams come true. But what we need to remember while these players are getting drafted and dreams are coming true, that the NFL's hard. That's right. The NFL's not easy. Mm -hmm. it's not. Some of these dudes look like absolute superstars, freaks, men that we have never seen before, some people are being described as, and they have yet to step foot onto an NFL football field. Everybody calls some people a bust that don't do well. Sure. I think that's a little bit rude. What's a bust? Well, when expectation levels are, huh, and they perform at, huh, you see, they bust into a record book that nobody wants to be a part of. Mm -hmm. In a bad way. But I think the word bust is a little bit negative. It is. Because that is acting like the NFL is easy. That is acting like what you accomplished before you got in the NFL actually matters once you get into the NFL when you're competing against the generation before you, the generation before them, the generation before them, right. and the generation before them, and right. all the superstars from the entire fucking crew. It is not easy to make it in the NFL. So when you hear a name called a second overall pick, first overall pick, 30th overall pick, 22nd overall pick, and teams think that their franchise is going to change immediately because this quarterback is going to come in here and make magic, I say stats don't say that's true. No, no. they don't. Mm. We actually had to put together a list, and I don't like doing this. No. Back man, I don't like pointing out negatives for players. I'm a pro player guy. Love players seeing, seeing good stuff in players and yeah. telling good stories about players, not bad stories. No. Negativity is too easy. You could bury people all day and get numbers on the internet and numbers on TV. Right. We choose not to do that. We choose to be super positive, but to protect this next generation of NFLers, we need to set an expectation level at a reality level, which is the fact that a lot of these guys are going to fucking suck. Oh, yeah, right. most of them. That get drafted. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these guys, mm -hmm. a lot of these guys are going to suck. Here's 10 that we pieced together, Tone Diggs and I, about mm -hmm. guys that were drafted as quarterbacks to go in the NFL in the first round, and they were supposed to be franchise changers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And guess what they were? Not. Mm -hmm. Us. Let's start at the top, Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell, obviously, out of LSU. This dude was a staggering six-foot something. He was obviously heavy, had a big body. He was a man that didn't know his team from the other team and threw a lot of different interceptions. At one point when he was at LSU, coming out of the college into the NFL, he was on his knee, mm -hmm. threw the ball 65, 70 yards. Yep. This dude's arm talent is next level. He showed up at an interview driving a Cadillac Escalade on 30-inch <laughs> rims. <laughs> wow. 30s. 30s. I didn't know it was possible. The issue was he never awesome. watched film. People wondered why did he never watch film? Well, because he could throw a ball 70 yards on one knee, and he had 30-inch rims before he even got into the NFL draft. Does that mean that he was set up for failure? No, no. He failed himself. But the NFL is really hard. It's not easy to be a great quarterback in the NFL. Jamarcus Russell proved that uh -huh. time and time again. Overall stats, three years, 7-18 and 18 as a quarterback starter. 18 touchdowns in total, 23 interceptions. Mm. Obviously, Jamarcus Russell, probably an incredible guy. I don't know him personally. Not the way his NFL career was supposed to go yeah. and everybody else's thoughts. But let's remember, if Jamarcus Russell was to play football with you, he beat the fuck out of you. Oh, yeah. Kill so remember it. that whenever yeah. you're saying what you're saying. That's me included. Another guy, let's go down to Houston, Parker McCollum's team, where he gets heartbroken about what his team chooses to do. Here's David Carr. Is that name familiar? Yes, it is. Because that guy's brother just signed with the New Orleans Saints for $400 million. Yep. Now, granted, Lamar Jackson's asking for way too much, but this man was supposed to change the game for the Houston Texans, and he did a lot of, boom, <laughs> that right there, mm. throwing it to the other team. David Carr, 10 years. Started five of them, 23 and 56 okay. as a starter. 65 touchdowns, 71 interceptions, was sacked 76 times in his wow. first year, Jeez. which is a stat that needs to be talked about because One a year? lot of the situations that these quarterbacks are going to, bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, is anything going to be able to help you throwing into a defensive meeting room like this one right here? No. But I assume the team that he went to was not that great. The organization that he went to was not that great. And his football play ended up being not, not that, that great. great. No, actually, that was, the, uh, that was the expansion draft. First year the team existed. Damn. They didn't have anything figured <laughs> no, out. No chance. They didn't even know how to do lunch. Let's go to another man. This guy was drafted out of North Dakota State. 
were the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> then he would go on to join the Indianapolis Colts. And on one particular play against Aaron Donald, <laughs> he would sprain both of his fucking ankles <laughs> while attempting to throw an interception. That's Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, obviously, we all remember when he came into the draft. Was it going to be he, him or Goff? Yeah. Him or Goff. Oh. Now, not that we're going to get crazy about Goff. Did lead the team to a Super Bowl. That team much better, I guess. And Carson Wentz technically has a Super Bowl ring mm -hmm. because of what happened after he left the Philadelphia Eagles. But his career is now over. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, not on a team. Yeah. He's on his third team. Out of his third team. Mm -hmm. yeah. Overall stats, 46, 45, and 1. Okay. 151 touchdowns, 66 interceptions. Ooh, I think people would say this is a success story, but he also has that on his film. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next. Jake Locker. Remember this fucking guy to oh, Washington? Yeah. He wears purple. It is fourth quarter against division rival. Five minutes left. There's Darius J. Butler Ooh, D -butt. picking him off. Now, obviously, with the score being as close as it was, this is a one-score game yeah, late. Yeah. He didn't play that terrible, but he just wasn't able to get the job done in the biggest moment against us on a very regular basis because we had that fucking guy, and he didn't. Joe LaFed just got tossed over there. Jake Locker was the number eight overall pick, top 10 mm -hmm. quarterback in the NFL. Damn. Started 23 games, 9 and 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not great. But if Jake Locker was to play pickup football with you, oh, with, sure. you mm -hmm. with you, mm -hmm. with you, with me, not with Pac, uh -huh. they have done that. I think he's picked him yeah, off. He no, tries. He, yeah. he would beat us all, but he stunk as an NFL quarterback because yes. the NFL is hard. is hard. Next one. This guy won a fucking Heisman. Hell yeah. He sat in the draft room for how long? I'll tell you. Number 22 overall pick. Second quarter, 20 to nothing. Who's that? Adam Pac-Man Jones. Oh, God. Adam Pac-Man Jones high step into the sideline to celebrate a pick. They're up 20 to nothing over Johnny Manziel in the Cleveland Browns in the second, second quarter. quarter. Damn. Now, I don't know what Pac-Man saw here. Pac, what did you see? A late throw. Just a late throw. Really late. Tried to make a play. He did yeah. that thing whenever he was in college to Alabama and numerous mm -hmm. other people and was able to throw touchdowns and highlight reels. But instead what happened was a former number six overall pick who's still in the NFL, who knows football better than you do, boom, he's sitting right there and starts to drive at the half-yard line. Pack, why not get the ball in the end zone? Get that thing a touchback. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, it could always get better, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and always get better. Fair this pack. guy, good player. Great player. If he was to play pickup football with you, he would fucking beat you. Rip yeah. it up. But instead, two and six record, only played in eight games. Seven touchdowns, seven interceptions. Eight Jesus. games. This guy, eight right here. Damn. Eight starters. Eight starts. And yeah. that happens. Now, did he get an opportunity to fully display his skill set? Probably not. No. He has come out and said that he did not give a fuck enough, though. Has not studied enough film, was not in there early enough, what? was not doing all that. Mm -hmm. He's a great football player, but the NFL is, is hard. hard. Here's another guy learning this. This guy had a fucking hot tub in his dorm room. This dude was a superstar at <laughs> UCLA. Cool. He was known as the Rosen one. This time, all he did was throw a completion to the Slaymaker for six as an Arizona Cardinal. <laughs> was only there one year. Wow. <laughs> only there one year. <laughs> Top 10 pick. One year with the Cardinals. Why? That's crazy. He would go on to start 16 games in total. 3-13 and 13 record. 3-13 mm, and 13 record. 12 touchdowns, 21 interceptions. Ooh, okay. That was Josh. one of them. There was 20 others that had happened. Once again, though, Josh Rosen, good at football. The NFL is hard. hard. Here's another guy, number three overall pick. Holy shit, out of USC. Sam Darnold. This guy has so many different arm angles. He's a baller. First throw of his career. Oh, no. <laughs> Boom. Sammy. Pick. Sammy. Six. How you doing? Oh, Keep it no. moving. That was his introduction to the NFL. Then you remember on Monday Night Football, they fucking killed him. This guy's seeing goes. Yep. Stinks. Had to play against Bill Belichick. Sam Darnold might have been a guy. Might be a guy for the Niners. Might have yeah. been a guy for the Carolina Panthers at the end of the year. Now, granted, hasn't played in any very meaningful games. Has not won a lot of games. Overall record of 21 and 34. Ooh. Not great. 61 touchdowns, 55 interceptions. Not Ooh. Sam Darnold's fault entirely. If he was to play football with you, he'd be better than mm -hmm. you. But once again, the NFL is hard. hard. Uh, this guy, married to a lady who is a prominent role mm -hmm. in the football world. Christian Ponder, mm. number 12 overall pick by the Minnesota Vikings out of FSU. He'd play for three years. He'd be 14, 21, and 
one. Okay. 38 touchdowns, 36 interceptions. Not bad. Next quarterback's taken after he was drafted number 12, Andy Dalton, and then obviously Colin Kaepernick. Mm, of course. So those two would have a lot more success, obviously, than Christian Ponder. And people would say that Christian Ponder's a bust. I say that's a little bit negative. I think Christian Ponder's a great football player. But the NFL is, is hard. hard. Toby Gerhardt, shout out. He's on that field. Shout out to Toby Gerhardt. Yeah. Shout out to the Detroit Lions getting in this game. Yeah, Because mm -hmm. they've had more than a few of these. Joey Harrington <laughs> oh, <Teddy>. out of <laughs> Oregon. This dude was up there in Oregon in the beautiful town. And Teddy Bruschi said, thank you very much. I weigh 265 See, pounds. I and I just got a pick six with a cowboy collar. <laughs> yeah. Because we rope a you into throwing that easy, easy ball. Six years in the NFL. Oof. 26 and 50. Holy Brr. shit. Man. Here's the number three overall pick in the 2002 draft. Oof. 79 touchdowns, 85 interceptions. Okay. Once again, we have to remember Joey Harrington, if he's throwing seven on seven against you or your friends, he's picking you guys apart. But when other people that play football for a living are on the field, it makes the NFL hard. Frey will lead in the way. And the most recent one, I think people will always talk about this and it's certainly going to become a much more interesting situation as Aaron Rodgers joins the scene. Sure, for sure. There's a dude out of BYU who's currently a quarterback for the New York Jets. His name's Zach Wilson. And against this particular Patriots team, he just gives them the ball <laughs> all the time. And that's not an easy defense play against. Obviously, no. on the other sideline, not this one. This is the Jets sideline. On the other sideline, there's an old fuck that's just wandering mm -hmm. who knows everything about football. His name's Bill Belichick. He is on the defensive side of the ball. He is obviously going to try to confuse the shit out of these young quarterbacks. He's been making Zach Wilson look like a rookie for every year Zach Wilson is in the <laughs> NFL. That is not Zach Wilson's fault. Zach Wilson might have football talent. Zach Wilson might be good at football. Is his team good? Well, they're saying to get Aaron Rodgers, they'll be great. Is the teams he play against good? Yes. But also, the NFL is, is hard. hard. So we're going to see a lot of busts on next Thursday night. Big time. Yeah. On yeah. the fourth annual Draft Spectacular, we're going to be watching in real time the next name that's going to be added to this particular low yep. light reel. Mm -hmm. It's not their fault. The NFL is hard. hard. What a time. What did I, did, I didn't like doing that. No. Didn't like showing low lights. Didn't want to. But I feel like it is our duty to let people know what you're watching next Thursday night. Mm hmm. Dreams coming true. Yes. yes. Right? Yeah. Money being made. A lot of life yep. change. Franchises particular, potentially changing. Yep. Mm -hmm. But what is most likely is that that person's going to suck. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to be a letdown. That's a shame. And the town's going to hate them. Yep. And they're going to call them a waste of laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. And they're never going to amount to anything. And they'll have to go have conversations about that for the rest of their lives. Yep. Even though they were better than everybody they played college football with. Mm -hmm. Their friends that they played college football with, who had highlights in college football that never made it to the NFL, have a better memory of football yeah. than the people that go in the NFL and just get fucking cooked mm -hmm. and have to be regarded as a bust yep. this entire time. But once again, it is not their fault. No. No. And that's... Not at all. The NFL is hard. hard. And doesn't get talked about enough. Yeah, to that point, too. And that's why so many, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth rounders, seventh rounders, like yourself, turn out. Because once you get there, it's more so the work you put in once you're in the building. And sometimes that just doesn't correlate. Good situations. Yeah. Who can yep. figure it out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who has the right mentality? Who doesn't? Coaching. Who doesn't have the same ability that they had in college because the game is vastly different? I mean, there's just so many different things that go into it. And everybody just assumes you're a first rounder, you're going to be great. It's got to be the right situation, too. Hell, yeah. yeah. Got to have the people I, around you. I love Dallas, but as far as defensive-wise, it wasn't the best situation for me. Um, I played okay. I ain't played like I played normally. And people called me a bust, but it just wasn't the right situation. When I went to Cincinnati, the defense fit me a little better, playing in the 4-3, playing a lot more man coverage, um, and not playing match coverage. So... It's got a lot to do with what situation you're in also, too. So many things playing into it all. And what we're saying is we're, we're going to see 25 busts. Yeah. 25 busts. Legitimately. <laughs> so we, so we if, we, if we want to go into what busts are, we're probably going to see yeah. 20, 24 to 25 of them next Thursday. And we did. Uh, that was since 2000. That was quarterback since 2000. The, the list would be a lot longer if it was earlier than that. But and the list was a lot longer. We whittled yeah. that thing down for probably like twenty-five to ten, just because yeah. we don't have the fucking time. There's, there's a lot of busts out there. A ton of them. And anytime you say that, you just kind of be like, oh, this guy stinks at football. It's like eh, better at football than you. 
uh, better football than all their friends, but the NFL is not an easy place just to fucking make a living.